Researchers are very confused about what science communication is actually about and what it means. Science communication largely is about communicating to non-experts. You cannot stay in your ivory towers talking to your specialist chums and colleagues in your specialist area. That doesn't wash it anymore. You have to step out of that arena, you have to talk to other specialist scientists, but also talk to wider stakeholders themselves. You need to sell what you're doing. Scientists have an obligation to communicate what they're doing. All of us as taxpayers within uh, the U European Union are investing in these individuals, are investing in their labs, investing in the work that they do. So there's an obligation for them to, res to actually communicate about it. There's a huge amount of research going on in really important topics that actually never really get to where it needs to be, whether it's to a policymaker, whether it's to a professional group, or whether it is actually for commercialization. So again, you know, scientists must really think about this if they want their research to continue, if they want to continue receiving funding, then it's really important that they actually start to communicate more effectively. There's a big difference uh, between dissemination and communication. Dissemination is their day job. Dissemination is about the production of papers that can be presented to peer-reviewed journals and ensuring that those are published. Communication is to inform and reach out to society. It should be addressed to multiple audiences that go beyond the project's own community, while the audiences um, for the dissemination are the ones that may use the results. We've tried in the grant agreement also to make this split and be very explicit. So we, we have different paragraphs. We have in the paragraph 38.1 for the communication aspect and paragraph 29 for the dissemination aspect.